ChatGPT now lets you schedule reminders as well as recurring tasks. Just today, OpenAI released GPT-40 with scheduled tasks. In this video, I'll show you potential use cases on how you can leverage this, as well as where I think this could potentially be headed. I saw a post from the chief product officer at OpenAI. So I'm going to run through some of the examples that he shared with how you could potentially use this. First off, I'm going to write one that says, send me the latest AI news at 8 a.m. What you can do here that's pretty interesting is since they now have this search capability is you can ask it to do research at a particular interval. What it will do is once that reminder is met is it will send you a notification. It will look something like this where I can go and I can click that message. It will open up ChatGPT and within this conversation thread, we'll get the latest results here. Here we have all of the latest AI news here. Here are the latest developments in artificial intelligence as of January 14th, 2025. And you can go through, see all the sources, just as if you were sending in a query to their search interface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule a number of these tasks just a minute out so you can see what it looks like. Let's just imagine we ask for a daily weather update. So I'm just going to say, send me the weather in one minute. You can imagine setting this for 8 a.m. every day, 7 a.m., whatever it might be. But what you can do as well within the interface now is you can click on the task and then you can specify the name of the task, the particular instructions, as well as change the schedule. You can specify whether it repeats or not. If you do want custom times like you saw in that first example, you can just specify what you want with natural language. Like you saw within this, we asked for 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., but that could be any combination. All right, so we just got an email about the weather. We see sunny skies with 58 degrees and I can click on that link and I'll see the weather. Sam Altman just put out a blog post last week where I think it really points to potentially where this is going. He mentioned that we believe that in 2025, we may see the first AI agents, quote unquote, join the workforce and materially change the output of companies. You could imagine an interface like this where you could just ask with natural language to have an agent do something on your behalf and it go off and do that, whether it's at an interval or once in a while. It could be something like research the best price on furnace filters every three months and have one delivered to my door. While something like this isn't going to work right now, I think this year might be the year that we see something like this actually work within something like ChatGPT or some of these other interfaces. And we see different pieces of how you can potentially accomplish a task like this in different platforms if you stitch together different solutions. But I think this year is probably gonna be the year where things come to a head and we start to see this within very popular platforms like ChatGPT. What it took from that query was to find a furnace filter price, search for the best price on furnace filters, notify me if there's a good deal. Now, the next sort of iteration or logical step of this is to have it actually take that action and execute and buy that item for you. I think that could potentially be a pretty interesting use case for something like this. You can also have some fun with this if you want to generate an image every night about a children's bedtime story featured around, and then you can just specify something like dragons and you can have it generate images, maybe even a story as well every day at a certain time. We can see daily at 9 p.m. It's going to generate a bedtime story image. And within here, I could just edit this and I could say something like also write a script for the story. I'll send that in. And you could imagine with their capability is you could also have the audio be generated eventually with something like this. Another potential use case for something like this is every day at 8 p.m. send me a workout plan, a combination of using a stationary bike and dumbbells. We can send that through and then you'll get a unique and personalized workout plan every day at that interval. Just to demonstrate what this one looks like in just a moment, I'll say in one minute, send me the workout plan with dumbbells. Overall, I think the most exciting thing with this is not necessarily what it is right now, but where this is potentially going. You can also click these three dots. You can view all of your tasks here. You can see your scheduled tasks as well as all of the completed tasks. If you want to edit them, you can just go ahead and edit them. You'll have that modal pop up. It's just like I had been showing you. And alternatively, if you want to pause and delete them, you can do that as well. We just got the alert for the full body dumbbell workout guide. So if I click that message and we take a look at that, we see that we have our sample workout plan, warm up, workout. We have all of these different pieces within here. Another interesting thing to consider with this release is what it potentially means 
for just general applications. Would you use something like ChatGPT over a fitness app, for instance? The thing that I like about this potentially is I could just dump in all of my information even while I'm working out. Like I could just say, here were the sets and reps and weights for XYZ exercise and it'd be able to know what you right? You could, if you wanted to turn on that voice mode and have it coach you through different exercises if you want. I'm not sure if anyone is doing that, but the sky is a limit with these large language models and the new applications that you can think about and how you can potentially leverage them. One other thing that some people might be wondering about is whether you get a push notification. I have the ChatGPT app installed as well as the desktop app open in what I'm showing you. And I didn't actually get any push notifications. I was a little surprised at that, but it still is within beta. And I would anticipate something like that to be a feature that's built within this. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on something like this. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is this going to be the way that we deploy and interact with AI agents? I'm curious to hear within the comments below. Otherwise, that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.